how much muscle can a lady build? Do ladies build as much muscle as men? We are led to believe that is incorrect. That's, eh, we kind of get skewy in the math. So the reason it gets a little bit skewy in the math there is say you take a hundred pound lady and she gains, I'm using simple math here, and she gains 2%. So now she's 102 pounds. You get a 200 pound man, he gains 2%. He's 204 pounds, right? So, oh, the guy gained twice as much. Well, not really. They started in different places. So the math can get skewy right from there. Um, the ladies also, there can be a difference in muscle fibers. So there are different types of muscle fibers. For simplicity's sake, we're going to talk about slow twitch muscle fibers and fast twitch muscle fibers. So every muscle has a combination of fast and slow twitch muscle fibers. Um, slow twitch muscle fibers are endurance muscle fibers. They are resistant to fatigue. Things like the, uh, the muscles in your diaphragm are going to be slow twitch because they're stabilized as they have to work all the time. The muscles in your calves, lower legs, they're going to be more slow twitch because they kind of have to work all the time. So slow twitch muscle fibers, um, uh, um, fatigue resistant, you know, they can keep going for a long time, but they don't really grow. You're not going to get hypertrophy. You're not going to get them to be big. Right? The fast twitch muscle fibers, also called white um, white muscle fibers, and they are the explosive mus muscle fibers. They are when you want to go. They explode. They are so they they're the ones that can have hypertrophy, and they're the ones that can get bigger. So slow and fast. A lot of times, ladies have a greater amount of slow twitch muscle fibers, meaning though that the, even though she's training real hard, she's eating on point, um, her ability to actually grow physically bigger is limited because she has a higher amount of the slow twitch endurance muscle fibers, which don't really grow. Okay. This can also be the case for people, male or female, that are just hard gainers. So hard gainers... Um, maybe people, and it's quite, it's quite interesting to work with hard gainers because they can be incredibly strong, but they, they're super strong, but they don't have the size that kind of warrants the strength. And, and again, that can be simply because their ratio of slow twitch muscle fibers is, is greater than the, those explosive fast twitch muscle fibers, which can grow a lot more. And it can also be the reason why somebody picks up a weight and gains muscle. And you're like, gosh, that person is so responsive more fast twitch muscle fibers, okay? So ladies, um, starting off in a different place, um, obviously the results don't look as great. Um, maybe more slow twitch muscle fibers, which means the actual visual size is maybe limited by that. Although it does mean that you can train faster. I did a video on it a while back, but should women train like men? And the answer is always like, no, because muscle is muscle. And I would absolutely just disagree. I absolutely train women. I, I train men and women together, together, but um, I do train women differently to men because women can generally train faster. Okay. I do all this in my muscle month program. Please subscribe to the channel so that you'll know when that group online group program becomes live. I only, only do it I will do it again this year, but I only do it once or twice a year. So make sure you subscribe. Um, so ladies, but how much muscle can you actually build? Let's look at this. Let's pick it up here. And we're going to look at this. All right, here you go. So um, a lady, sorry, it's blurry. Um, beginner lady with a brand new or up to two years experience in, in the weight, weight room can gain six to 12 pounds a year. I would agree with that. My first year of training, I remember gaining, I was 17, but I remember gaining 12 pounds because I remember thinking, wow, that was a pound a month. Uh, half a pound to a pound per month. And that's if you're brand new, maybe not even up to the two year mark. And that's because everything works. As a newbie, everything works. You could be doing terrible form. You could be eating terribly. You can be doing not going to failure. You, you can be picking the wrong exercises, training too much, training too little, and it still works because everything is new to the muscles, so it responds. After that period, though, after that honeymoon period, you have to get a bit smarter. Um, so once you get into the intermediate range, the the, the muscle gain per year is grass, uh, drastically reduced, three to six pounds. Uh, quarter to a half a pound of muscle a month. Now, bearing in mind that muscle is a third of the size of fat, that might not even be visible. I mean, maybe after a year, you're like, oh, wow, that's, I can really see the difference, but it's, it's, um, it's definitely slowed down. Let's put it like that. 
Then you get into advanced, which is over five years. So I don't know where that puts me because I've got, I started at 17, I'm 56 now. I've, I've got like 40 years of doing this. Um, one to two pounds of muscle a year, you can expect. Now, I would argue that once you get to a certain age, you're hanging on for dear life. You're hanging on to those pounds. You, you're training it as hard as ever. And yet you're, you're hoping just not to go backwards. But anyway, advanced, you know, one to two pounds a year, like 0.1 to 0.2 pounds of muscle a month. My point being here, if muscle building is your jam, which it is mine, then you cannot focus on the end point. For one, I don't think there is one, but you've got to enjoy the journey because results are, apart from that, that sweet, sweet year or two at the beginning, results come very slowly. So you, it, this has got to be fun. It's got to be something you enjoy doing because it's, um, it's a forever type thing. But muscle long term, at first we do it and it looks pretty and it's functional. And that's great. But later on, I mean, it is our metabolic tool. It is the reason that we can lose fat. It's where fat is, you know, oxidized. It's the reason we can lose fat. I mean, without muscle, losing fat is very, very difficult to do. I mean, if you think that gaining muscle is slow, try losing fat without muscle. It's painfully slow and incredibly frustrating as well. So muscle is our metabolic um, metabolic tool. It regulates the nutrients in our blood. And I will finish by saying that although muscle building is, is slow, um, I've never met an 80 year old that wishes they had less of it. Isn't that the truth? Ladies, we can build muscle. Yes, we're probably coming in from a different starting place. Yes, our muscle fibers might be slightly differently. We don't have that level of testosterone. But if you come into my Muscle Month program, I talk about that. And with ladies, that isn't even such an issue. We use the other growth factors uh, a little bit better. Um, but yes, muscle is your best friend. And um, you want it to be with you for a lifetime.